Hi everyone and welcome back to My Abiding Journal. My name is Kelsey Lee and if you take a little peruse around my channel, there are two things that you will definitely realize about me. One is, yes, I love to journal and do it in a creative way. And the second thing is that I also love Christmas. I am a believer and I love the anticipatory nature of the countdown to Christmas and Christ's birth. And those things are all combined in this advent calendar from Daphne's diary when they said that they had an advent calendar that they would like to send me I immediately said yes absolutely please send me your advent calendar so here it is this is the advent calendar from Daphne's diary the aesthetics alone of this advent calendar to look basically like a little mini vintage wardrobe on your desk I think is the most darling design I have ever seen for an advent calendar. What I love about this design is that it is really meant to go beyond the advent season. When you pull out the drawers and take out whatever wonderful items are inside, you then can put the drawer back in the opposite way, which is also designed. And then you could put a little note on here and use this as storage for your journaling. So I'm already looking around my messy desk thinking about all of the ways I can use these drawers as storage and just write on here what is in each of the drawers. It's so beautiful. It's so well designed. But of course, you are probably here because you want to know what some of the items are that you will get when you get the Daphne's Diary Advent Calendar. And I thought long and hard about how I wanted to share this with you because I could go ahead and open every single drawer, which would be fun, don't get me wrong. But I also know that the purpose of an Advent Calendar is also to be surprised and to not know necessarily what goody you're going to get next each day. And I personally want to save a little bit of the mystery for myself too. So what we are going to do for this video is just give you a little sampling taste of what comes in this calendar by just opening some of the drawers but not all of them. And the way I'm gonna do that is only open the top drawers and then the bottom drawers will be an ongoing mystery for all of us who want to purchase this calendar and enjoy opening it throughout the Advent season. These drawers will continue to be a mystery. So that is my plan. If you don't want any spoilers at all, if you're just ready to purchase this Advent calendar and get to open it for yourself each day, of December, then I will have the link down below. And I have a really great discount code from Daphne's Diary. If you use Kelsey Lee 10, you will get 10% off your purchase. So definitely check that out. But if you want to have a little bit more of an idea of what you're going to be getting, let's now go ahead and open some of these drawers. Before we dive in to the advent calendar, I did want to give you a little glimpse at what a Daphne's Diary magazine looks like. I used to always love going to Barnes & Noble and perusing through this magazine. Daphne's Diary is really a paper crafter's dream and this issue is Christmas themed. So there are so many beautiful different things in here, including look at these hot chocolate bombs and how to make them, as well as tons of ideas for gift giving, having a more positive mindset. And then what I love about Daphne's Diary is there's always various paper goodies to kind of cut out of the magazine and projects to work on. So here are some really beautiful, it looks like pop-up cards that you can create using the provided materials. There's wonderful recipes and so many neat items and just the style of the magazine. It just makes it an absolute joy to peruse. And of course, as a journaler, one of my favorite things about the magazine is once I'm done reading it and enjoying its content, I then can just cut out 
so many wonderful pieces from this magazine to use in my journaling. So if you have never checked out Daphne's diary before, I highly recommend you look at their magazine and potentially consider it as a gift for yourself or another paper lover in your life. A subscription to Daphne's diary would certainly be a welcomed gift in my stocking or under the tree and I highly, highly recommend it. They are always a joy to give and receive. And so these are the types of materials that they always have included in their magazine stack of different paper items like envelopes to cut out. And then these are really beautiful blown up posters that they have folded here. And I don't think I can get the whole thing in frame, but this image is absolutely stunning of these two foxes. So you could frame this in your home or you could cut it out and use in your journaling. But I just think this is such a pretty piece and there were two that they sent me. So I think one is going to be a gift and one I am going to keep. And then again, some fun paper pieces that you can cut out and create. It looks like these are for making some ribbons. And then there are some fun floral cutouts. And then they also sent me one of their stationary items, which is this collection of Christmas cards. And these are so adorable. Look at these. They're basically like kind of pop-up style cards. So we have the two moose kissing. And then when you make it bigger, they are at the table uh, trying to sip from their hot chocolate. I just think that is so, so adorable. And they also have some other great designs in here, like this little fox and the rabbit. And then when you open it, it has all of these different ornaments. So I did want to share those items with you that they also sent me. If you're not interested in the advent calendar, definitely check out the other stationary items in their shop or their magazine because there are so many paper goodies over there that you might enjoy. And now back to the advent calendar. All right, so let's dive in and see what treasures the advent calendar holds for us. I'm very excited. So I'm just gonna go in order. This day is actually 21. And let's see what is in here. Oh my goodness, so cute. We're doing this as a surprise together, by the way. I haven't looked in any of these drawers, so you will be seeing my authentic reactions to the goodies in here. So this one has a pile of the cutest little cards. So these little cards have an image of a baked good and then some utensils with an open space for you to write maybe the name of a person on them or you could just use them for like the date if you wanna use them in your journaling but every single one of them is a little bit different of a design. They're so cute. Um, and then the backs also have really unique, beautiful patterns as well. And I think these would be really fun to use as place cards for your dinner table or in your journaling. I think they're just really cute little peekaboo tabs that you can be doing some journaling on the inside of this. In the next drawer, we have, ooh, looks like some ribbon, some Christmas-themed ribbon. So yeah, we have some really cute Merry Christmas ribbon with a little truck in the trees and snowflakes. And that looks like a pretty good amount of ribbon. And again, you could use this for your journaling, or I think it also would be really cute to use to wrap a gift, so multiple uses for that as well. So next we have number 10 and look how beautiful the box is for this one. I really love the design of it. And it looks like this one has a bunch of really fun magnets. Oh, these are so cute. So all different magnets for Christmas, different ones. I'm really impressed by the number of things in each of these. Like, look at that. There's quite a few shoved into this little box. 
These maybe wouldn't be used for journaling, though certainly you probably could take the magnet part off if you wanted to use the image in your journal or just tape it in despite the magnet. They're very thin, so you could do that. On day five, we have a really sweet trio of washi tape. I mean, already there's so many good things and that's just four drawers that we've gone through. So a really beautiful red washi with gold foiling on it. We also have this gorgeous gold foiled Santa's sled and some sweet little trees. So all very sweet, cute little Christmas washi to play with in your journaling. So here we are with day seven and this one is a little mystery box inside of the box. Mystery box inside the box. Oh, I see, it's not a box, it's actually a little paper pad. Oh, it's little post-its. How sweet are these? And I love that they're actually not overtly Christmas themed. So you could use these throughout really any season, but how cute would it be to do your journaling on these little post-its? And of course you can just use them as post-its as well, but I am really loving how these would look as part of my journaling. And you get so many, this is a huge stack for these post-its. Are we having fun? I'm having fun. So here we are on day 19 and ooh, again, a little booklet. Oh, this is just like a really sweet little mini book with the most gorgeous cover. Again, not overtly Christmas. This is just a really pretty design with some oranges or lemons and a teapot. And then it's just blank paper inside. The next day as we continue down the line is 13 and here we have, oh, again, look how cute. These are looking like maybe they're all the same. Um, they're just little ornaments or tags. So they are double-sided with the sweetest little mouse or ham maybe a hamster, hamster couple. I don't know if they're mice or hamsters. I think they're hamsters. They're so cute. They're so sweet. They're kissing under the mistletoe. So that's adorable. Here we are in day 12 and oh, how cute are these? So these look like they're little uh, chipboard punch outs. So you can punch out, we have the look of a little deer uh, with the antlers that you could punch out and use the inside and also then the outside in your journaling. There's a little house one. And I think, oh wow, there's a lot. There's so many more than I thought there'd be. There's an ornament as well as a squirrel and a rocking chair. So sweet, I love the pattern. Really, really darling. Okay, so here we have, ooh, ooh, okay, hold on. <laughs> there are in here so many beautiful pieces. It looks like maybe Oh, I think so. I think there's little punch outs and then it looks like you punch out the pieces and maybe put them together. So I think the idea is that you can use these as a Christmas ornament for your tree. A little paper ornament tree would be so cute, especially for like your craft room if you have one or just anywhere in the house. All right, here we have, looks like some paper products again really sweet little pieces. Oh, they're like long pieces of paper. How cute will these be for doing your journaling? So it looks like they kind of just fold out and have sweet little patterns on them. So there's multiple of these and they all have different patterns. They're just like little, little pieces of paper that you can write a list on, but I'm thinking it would be really cute to kind of tape one side down in your journal and then make it like an interactive element that you can pull open to then reveal all of your journaling. I will definitely be playing with these. Next we have, looks like some more ornaments. So you could really make an awesome little tree just from all of the cute little ornaments that are available in this advent calendar. And again, they have the string in here for you to build those ornaments. That would be a really sweet project to do with kids. 
and you guys could make all the ornaments and then put them on the tree. Here we have the sweetest little labels for your gifts that just have two from. I think I would use these in my journaling as well to kind of talk about um, gifts and who I got them from and just what they were. Here, this is day three and we have a little box inside and it looks like it is a box of stickers, it says. So let's open that. There's so many in here. I'm really impressed by how much they put into each of these drawers. It's really not just one little item, but whole collections of items. Okay, this is my favorite item. This is definitely my favorite item so far. So these are the sweetest little stickers for Christmas time. You could use these to, again, use for closing a gift or to close the envelope for your Christmas cards. That would be such a sweet touch to your Christmas cards. And I think though, I'm mostly gonna just use these in my journal. Here we have another collection of little cards. These ones have little quotes on them. And again, the most darling illustrations you ever did see. This one says, don't think about tomorrow. It is so far away. Enjoy your precious moments and live your life today. Four of these, again, the cutest little addition to a gift. Okay, so this one looks so cute. These are the same pattern as the box that you're seeing, this really beautiful floral. Oh my gosh, stop. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. I love this. They're little bullet journals. How cute is this? Each one is a bullet journal, a mini bullet journal for that season. So cute. Okay, so we have three more boxes for the top half of the wardrobe. It looks like little trees with little punch outs and I wonder if there's a way that maybe you can use these to interact with the other punch out cards. And it feels like there's supposed to be a way that maybe you could like use them to stand up or something like that. And then here we have more ornaments. So again, these are so cute. They're little bears hugging a Christmas tree. Here in day four, we have Oh, how sweet. These are little paper clips. So they're little chipboard paper clips. They even say paper clip on the side. And so you could use these as bookmarks or to help point to something in your journal. And that is everything in the top half of our Daphne's diary wardrobe. I'm so excited to actually open this throughout the holiday season. There's so many precious little items in here that would be just a fun little treat to open every day. And as I said, I didn't go through all of them. So there are seven more boxes for seven more days of December that are here in the bottom half, but I am going to leave those as a surprise for me and as a fun surprise for you as well. If you get the Daphne's Diary Advent Calendar, I highly recommend it. I think this is such a fun idea for crafters. It would make a great gift for anybody who enjoys Daphne's Diary or just enjoys these kinds of vintage style elements that you can use for gift wrapping. You can use them in your journals or just to generally decorate your home with fun paper goodies during the Christmas season. So I hope that you enjoyed this little peek into my advent calendar. Honestly, I'm probably most excited for getting to use the wardrobe for storage after I have completed the Christmas season. I think these boxes are just going to be such cute storage for all of my little bits and bobs that I have lying around my desk. And so that is the great thing about this as a gift or for yourself is it's really a gift that keeps giving because you can then use it throughout the year and you could even fill it with your own little items for future Christmas seasons to make the fun of using 
an advent calendar continue into future years. So that is the Daphne's Diary advent calendar. If you are interested in learning more and trying it for yourself, definitely check out the link in my description and don't forget to use the discount code Kelsey Lee 10 for 10% off. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want more inspiration of some fun journaling goodies to maybe add to your Christmas wish list, definitely check out my journaling hauls playlist, or you might like my most recent video and I'll see you in the next one.